It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Boom! Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to another show of Dads, Lads and Kebabs. We are sorry about last week. We had a week off, or at least one of us did. Mickey, myself, I can confirm nor deny. How are you doing, sir? Straight thumbs up for Mickey. That's it. That's all we're getting today, people. He's not speaking today, so what he's doing is taking a vow of silence. So the next few episodes are going to be really interesting. Mickey doesn't speak anymore. But he's tapping, so he's making some sign of noise. So if you're watching people, then you'll see that he's shaking his head from side to side. But we are here for another fantastic episode of that Slads and Babs. Myself, the legend, the one, the only, the undefeated, undisputed. (laughs) I've got nothing else in the tank. Mickey's just swigging his Pepsi Max with a hint of lemon. No, I am here, people. I am on it. I am not trying to get arrested and put in prison for opening my mouth, as it seems to be in a certain government that is controlling our country at the moment. I do not wish to be (laughs) put in jail for 20 months for writing something on Facebook. What have you wrote on Facebook? I'm not writing nothing on Facebook. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. <clears throat> they are they are releasing they're releasing prisoners, criminals, mm. to, so that they can put people in prison who write on Facebook for two years. What what are people? Do you know somebody that's wrote on Facebook? No, I don't. I'm just saying. That I've oh. seen I've seen news clips in court. I've seen yeah. And I can't be bothered. Honestly, I'm done with it. I can't be bothered. Yeah. I have got no. I've got no. Um, no interest in news at the moment. So I was just trying to be funny and ironic, and it's 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 definitely ironic. Um, <laughs> but as as relevant as it's not, I just believe that oh, I can't care. I cannot care. I no. can, and, I, and as selfish as as that makes me sound, I'm done with it. I I like. Yeah, I'm done. I, I've got nothing. I've got nothing to... Nada! I don't, care. I don't care about either. I don't care what's going on. I don't care about what's being done. I mean, the dickheads looting shops and, you know, fucking... Great. You're a knob. You're an absolute knob. Honestly, for those people that thought... That thought, oh, I'm going to go and look... Because they... You, I've seen some of the photos of, like, the people. And they were, like... Groups... Kyle. Gr- groups yeah, Jeremy Kyle statistics groups of young lads groups of like just like young women that were probably in town shopping beforehand then all of a sudden they seen an opportunity to go and nick a bath bomb from lunch you did that you're an absolute cunt Ooh. you're you're honestly you're a knobhead you're just oh, I, I cannot deal with fucking bandwanded fuck bandwagon fucking dickheads fucking just that think destruction is the way forward that, like, do you know, like, they're the kind of people, do you know the people that were destroying stuff? Mm. They were the kind of people that s- ring the council because their bins have not been emptied. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, yeah. Or they'll say, our local park has not been fixed in years. Like, that, they're the sort of people that do that short shit. But yeah, you're happy to go and destroy your own street. Honestly, you're a fucking knobhead. It's true. I just, I ain't got no time for it. I'm done. Honestly, I don't even want to post any more information. No. Not in terms of... Like, I don't even want to talk about it. I read about this thing the other day, though, that there is such a thing called the happy newspaper. Right? And the happy <laughs> newspaper... Honestly, it's a, re- it's a real thing. Yeah. Look at the website called the happy newspaper. And it's just a newspaper about all the happy things that happen on this earth. The happy... It's literally just good things. It's just a newspaper about good things that happen. That's it. No, no negative shit. That's the kind of world I love. I want to live in. That's it. Yes. There you go. The happy, the happy <laughs> newspaper. The happy news. Lovely human award. You really are like real life sunshine. Oh, yeah, they got like articles and videos of people doing nice things. 
That is it. That's all it is. Is <laughs> that happy play. newspaper? Fair play. Oh, honestly, that's the kind of world I want to live in. The kind of world where people just start to forget about negative bullshit and just live a decent life, man. Do you know what I did this week? I'll tell you one thing that I did this week that made just took me away from everything. I painted. There we go. What's that? Is that your car? No, that's a car around the corner from me. Oh, God. What happened to that? I don't know. It's a collision. Ripped off the oh, suspension God. and wheel, causing it to flip on its side. Well, that's not in that. That's not in the happy newspaper, is it? No, that that's not in the happy news at all. That's in the unfortunate <laughs> news. Oh God, they can't be dealing with it. Oh. Cannot be dealing with it. I can't deal with it anymore. No. What were you saying? Yes. So, do you know what I did this week to take no. me away from that negative bullshit and just make me quite me peaceful? Away. I I painted my fence. Now, I have never painted a fence in my life. That's quite therapeutic with a paintbrush up and down. Oh, I was out there five hours one eve on, uh, what was it, Monday evening. Podcast in your ears. I had I had music on. I was listening to music, so it was playing on my phone. Yeah. I had the paint. I had, a little, I, had a, I had a paint. I had the fence brush. I had the roller. I had the paint. And it was literally four or five hours and I mean I was taking my time doing every detail yeah I'll send I'll send you some photos but I have never painted a fence before however it was the most relaxing task that I have ever done nobody was bothering me it was literally the only thing I had to worry about was dripping the paint on the floor and that didn't even happen because I just took my time with mm. every stroke and then when I finished, I was like, wow, like, that's just peace. There's nothing involved. Mm. There's no so, worries. So, did you go, we've either got green, we've got orange, we've got brown, we've got red, or we've got grey. What colour did you paint your fence? Is it proper oh. fence paint, Niall, or is it just like... Emulsion for your house. <laughs> now that would drip. It's <laughs> one coat. One coat gloss. <laughs> <laughs> I went like a. Let me. Oh, here we go. He's going to bring his garden fence in now. I went like that color green. Oh, green. Yeah, sage yeah, green. Sage, sage green. That's nice. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, mate, it was well therapeutic. Yeah, I've done that many times. Yeah, never painted a fence in my life, and you know what? I didn't even want it to end. I was like, right now, I'm going to do the. I haven't done the other side yet, so I'm going to do that <laughs> this week. But it was such a de-stress, mm. such a release from just, you know, doing everything on the go, speeding, you know, trying to get everything done at a million miles an hour. It was really nice. I think people that use the spray guns because they weren't around when I used to fence, like paint my fence. I think they will be. That's a cop out. I think oh. I'll never get one of them. I, it's got to have a paintbrush. You know, I like just the take, brush. Take your time. I like the, bearing in mind, towards the end, like you said, my arm was killing, so I did just take my time. My arm was dead by the end of it. However, I was like, I didn't want to rush it. I was like, nah. the sun was the sun was setting. I had just had a, I had like a two liter bottle of water, had some music on, and I was just just going away. Mr. Miyagi style. That's good. So now, before our last episode, you said oh, you were yeah. you were going somewhere. You went away for a few days, did you? I went away. I went. Away. I went to Warwick. Did I talk about Warwick Castle? Yeah, we haven't spoke about anything. I went to Warwick Castle, ladies. He went to Warwick Castle, people. I went to Warwick castle it was lovely oh nice nice we the, shit for we parking first, but... shit for, well you say that multi-story no oh, okay so we stay we were the first group to stay in the new hotel there's a hotel there's a hotel what in the castle 
in the castle. Oh, wow. They, um, yes, so we were the first group to stay in the hotel, but not, they don't just have a hotel. They have a hotel, they have night's lodges, and they have also like medieval tents. Oh. So the med- medieval tents, they start about 80 quid a night. The lodges are about 120, and the hotel was like maybe like 130. We stayed in the hotel. Swords on the wall, not <laughs> night themed beds. It was brilliant. Warwick Castle, I've never been. Never been to Warwick Castle. Have you not? Nope. Ah. It was it was really cool. That's good. Oh, I've, I've been a few times. T- twice ghost hunting, and I think twice uh, for recreational needs. Recreational needs. Did you yes. want to play on the play park? <laughs> no idea. Probably. We went in the maze. We uh, went to see the uh, jousting. That was mm. a good show. That's a wicked show. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't even know a lot about that place until then. It's only like an hour away. It's an hour away. Uh, yeah, Warwick's really nice as well. Yeah, it is nice. So you've done, you've been you've been ghost hunting there. Yeah. Any good? It's all right. I think we both times I've been, there's been lots of people, so it sort of took away from the. Uh, Mm. The excitement of it all, and, and the evidence that was captured, or things that were happening, you know, mm-hmm. when when you got people in other rooms, other parts of the castle, it's a bit uh, not as good. But it's it's an experience, and you know, take it on the chin, don't you? It was it was it was a nice trip. I'll say that it wasn't expensive, so that was one good thing because you know, summer holidays, being a parent. You're trying to find things that offer the most value for money, but also take up the most amount of time. Yeah, it's how, it's how I'm going to say <laughs> it. You're trying to, yeah, you're trying to make sure that money stretches through the entire day. So, but we did good, and what well, you know what? As for an attraction, the food wasn't that great. But it was, you know, it was food. Hmm. It wasn't it wasn't too expensive. And there was even entertainment for for kids, so that was brilliant, which was great. Because right. you're in a hotel. When you go back to a hotel after a day at the park, and by the time you've chilled out, had dinner, it's kind of like, you know, you want something to do. So it was good. There was even entertainment for kids. That was good. Ticks all the boxes. Absolutely. It was good. It's nice. What about you? I hear you've got a ten-hour drive ahead of you tomorrow. Yes, last weekend I went to Wales, go something in the in the forest. There we are. Got, got told off for being there oh, did, by did people on quad, on quad bikes. Oh fuck no, okay. some like rangers and that. <laughs> I won't say where I was, um, but I was in a in a park. I thought it was like a like a national forest or something. But yeah, there was rangers in there. And she, you shouldn't be in here. Okay. <laughs> That's the first night. Second night went back again, but it wasn't really that good. So, but I did Rangers. get an an- I did find an antique wine rack that I brought home. <laughs> so not only was you in there and got caught, you stole a wine rack. <laughs> I found it in the woods. I took it home. It looked old. Well, you're and technically c- not you're not looting there, so you're fine. No, it it was just laying in the grass. <laughs> so. <laughs> But yes, tomorrow morning I am heading off to an army base to collect my son because he's leaving early because he's on annual camp at the moment with cadets and he was supposed to come back Sunday, I believe. And it's a five hour trip there on the coach and by probably longer by coach to be fair. It's like four hours and 40 Mm. minutes by car. And yeah, he's he's going to on holiday on Saturday, so I need to pick him up. Tomorrow is Friday, if any of you care. And so tomorrow, you know, booked day off work, and I've got to get up at five a.m. So I need to. I'm collect. I said I collect him about midday. So good man. It's like you couldn't Dad's get eh? you couldn't get further east. Let's just say that east. And you can see the fucking... You can see America, probably, from that fucking place. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's very far. And it's like, wow. I could near enough get to Scotland at the same distance. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, there's only there. What are we talking yeah. to? It's got up for me like seven hours. It's about seven to Edinburgh. Yeah. So into Scotland, it's probably like five and a half, maybe five. So, yeah. I would love to do that drive. I think I'd have to do it in sections of like two hours at a time. What drive? Scotland? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've, you know, I'm supposed to be going to Edinburgh Mark again. Yes. To, to stay on a particular island, go something. <laughs> well, we have cancelled our flights because we had the idea of Mark was happy with driving there. So we're going to do a proper road trip. Road trip. And just because we were going to hire a car when we got there. Mm-hmm. And we, we we were supposed to land at like 11 o'clock at night. And by the time we get out of the, the airport, we've got, then got to drive or get the car and then get to Inverness. No, Livingston. Livingston. Okay. It's like 20 minutes from Edinburgh. And it was yeah. an awful lot. It was like two hundred pound cheaper per night to stay in the hotel. So it's like, where yeah. are you staying? In Premier Inn. Where was you staying? Well, if we wanted to find a a, a place close to this particular place in Edinburgh, yeah. it, it was like two hundred pound a night. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So now we found it for like eighty pound a night, okay. twenty minutes away. So it's a, it's a no brainer, really. So yeah, we're gonna do that. We'll cancel the flights. We just have to pay for petrol, and it means we can take more equipment, more stuff, because we can park near the the island, mm. hopefully, and then just carry over whatever we need. So it's we split neat. the driving, or will just one designated driver? Well, it's his car. So, but thinking about it, yeah, he said to me, "Cheeky fuck!" I've just realised. He said, "Oh, I, I finished work. So I didn't book that day off because it's a Friday." And I said, oh, I'll finish work and I'll come. I'll get to your house about two o'clock. Where the fuck is Scotland? Yeah. Where's well, London? <laughs> why, the f- why the fuck am I going to drive south to, Lon- no, to, to, to come back all. past my house? I've just realised that ain't happening. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> You're a dick. I d- You're no, a dick. We, we said, he goes, oh, you get to my house. So fuck off. Because we'll probably go M1, M6... M6 all the way to near like Carlisle mm-hmm. and then go that way because Saturday morning we're going to be going to Glasgow for the day and then coming back for the to Edinburgh for the the investigation so nice yeah so that's well, it's turned well, into trip. a pretty cool idea road trip you know it's going to be good we're good for filming as well especially yeah, vlo- if you do lots of vlogging from the and- start yeah, Go yeah. From the start, make a short out of it, and you know that'd yeah. be quite cool. Mm. Nice. I like the idea of that. Yeah. So obviously, airports are a fucking pain in the ass. Mm-hmm. You have to get there early, and you know it's just busy. It's just busy. I mean, yeah. the other week when we came through Birmingham, it was coming down the mountain, and she comes coming back was busy for sure. Customs and that just takes ages now to get through. Yeah, it's just not a quick thing anymore. It used to be quite quick. Now it's just a lot. I just it's just queuing, isn't it? You queue for your your entire trip at the bloody airport anyway. You do. I've never experienced. You you always think, oh, I'm going on holiday or I'm going out on a road like a a, a trip with the boys or whatever you're doing, and you think. Oh, that'd be well cool, you know, carry your backpack and go get some food at the airport. It's not that nice because you you always have to probably carry, like I remember last time I went to Ireland, we carried a big coat. It was fucking hot in that airport. And everywhere I went, I had to carry this big coat because I needed the coat for nighttime wherever mm-hmm. we were going, out Let's in the fucking it. wilderness. And I couldn't fit it in my bag because I had a big, massive red light Arctic coat at the time. Yes, and it, so I remember that ca- coat. It came in fucking handy, so good for when it was needed. But carrying it around, it weighed like fifteen kilo. <laughs> so oh, yeah. fuck's sake! Big, and it's fucking big coats are all well and good until you have to carry them, or until yeah. they're wet. Because even when they're wet, they weigh double the amount. Oh yeah, luckily it wasn't raining. But you know, it's uh, 
It's definitely the little things that just piss you off at airports that you think beforehand, oh, it'd be a nice trip. I'll enjoy that. Nah. Road trips so, are the best. Road trips are so much better because you can, like you said, you can take what you want. You're not restricted on what you bring. And you're not panicking. Do you know like that pre-airport leaving the house situation? Yeah. That whole P- passport. passport, keys, phone, wallet, watch, this, that. And it's like, have I got yeah. currency? Do I need currency? Do you know? It's just like... And then when you get there, you get through the airport doors. And for some reason, I terminals are designed to make you spend money. Yeah. Because no matter where you turn in a terminal, even when you get through... So what? why is it when you you go through customs you go no you go through security you walk straight through a duty free shop yeah they're not cheap anymore though people don't buy booze or anything anymore i get i get my money's worth oh i go i go straight to the aftershave and i'm like (laughs) (laughs) everybody does it you you got you got to do it it's like essential everybody on a plane smells good because they've sprayed themselves a million times with you know the most expensive aftershave that they can never afford Ford. <laughs> it, just spray yourself full of it but then yeah. you come out of the other side of that and then it's just like we was in birmingham and it was like five in the morning the champagne bar was open five in the morning people and i get it people get beers and stuff but i i couldn't do that and yeah. i know me not, not being a drinker but I couldn't physically think of anything worse than a beer first thing in the morning. Yeah, that's what happens though, isn't it? You get to Heathrow and it's 5am, Weatherspoons is just open to have your breakfast and you can have a beer with it and it's like... <laughs> oh, God, it makes me wretch. And peop- you, you see people knocking back the beers and the shots and it's like, fuck me, it's 5am. What so are you it's doing? Five, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that no I airports for me are like a, I just hate the waiting around mm. I hate wait. I hate waiting on the tarmac I hate waiting when you do you know when you get on a plane I've always I've seen so many videos saying you should be the last person that gets on the plane it's one because if there's any aisles left that that don't have seats in them just sit in it because if you're if they're doing a final final call in and you're the last one on that plane, you see an empty row, you sit down on it, whatever, they ain't going to care. No. And also, you're not just fucking waiting for people to... Do you know, why is it people piss around when they get on a plane? They sit down in their seat, they stand up, they put the bag in they put the bag, bag in the overhead, they fucking sit down again. Oh, I forgot my headphones. Stand up again. So I just sit the fuck down. You can do it, all this in about 20 minutes. It's worse, though, when the plane lands, they come to a standstill... People get out into the aisle and take their bags off, and it's like we ain't going nowhere for like twenty minutes. And there's people standing in the aisles for like twenty minutes. I just sit down and wait because I thought I can't get out. Sit down. Just there's sit people down. in the way. You know. The only thing I do when I get on a plane is literally, do you know the aircon twist things? Yeah, make sure that's on. Yeah, I literally sit down, put that on, and I just sit there. Don't move. Put my bag under my seat. Yeah. And just fucking sit there. Because I'm not house banning that shit. Like some people with, like they, and I get some people are excited by flights and stuff. Flights don't bother me. It's just a transport means. You know what I mean? Mm. Some people, man, they want to fuck around. People want to put their phone on the fucking window and shut it and just just piss off. Oh, what's the film? Oh, flight. That's good. Campers. That's good though. Hey, when, when when they land. Oh God. <laughs> That's Eastern Europeans, from my experience, that do that. Oh mate, no British do it too. British Do they know? Well. Wow. They land. They land back in the UK, and then it's like, and it's like, why are you clapping? You would never clap your taxi driver or your bus <laughs> driver. <laughs> yeah, I didn't die. Like you fly from Edinburgh to fucking Heathrow, and it's like thirty-eight minutes or whatever, and you're like, yay! It's like, plane wow. crash for me. I, if at any point, right in a plane crash, you're going down. I think at that point, you've just got to be like, we're done. We're done. Yeah. Yeah, but how many times has a plane crashed? Last but, week there was what there was no. one in passenger plane in Brazil. Yeah, but these these other countries that you think that wouldn't happen in America, apart from nine eleven. It wouldn't happen in the UK. 
it wouldn't happen in like France, apart from Concord. Wouldn't happen. <laughs> you know, most most. You know, you have countries where you think, yeah, probably explains a lot. Yeah, yeah but then that, you could say that about that, anywhere, though. Yeah, but no, but the reason I say that is not because I don't think them countries are very good. I just think their safety standards are not very good. Our health and safety in the UK and America is fucking shit hot for for travel and airplanes and all the rules and regulations. You go to summer countries, they don't even have rules. <laughs> you know? And it's like, what do you expect? Of course your planes are going to crash. You know? Yeah. Shout out to my Brazilian people. Oh, God, mate. You're, that's it. All our Brazilian listeners are gone. <laughs> oh, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, me. <laughs> so, what I was going to say... So last night, I had, I, had, I, had my, I had my brothers over last night. We had a movie night. Oh, yeah. What did you watch? Dinner. I cooked some dinner, um, and then we watched a movie. Now, they introduced me to the movie channel Shudder. Okay. Now, Shudder is just horror movies. Oh, right. And they introduced me to a film called A Violent Nature. And it's a horror movie. It's not as horror, I'd say, horror thriller. Okay. I won't tell you too much about it. I will suggest you to watch it because, so it's a horror movie, but you're in, I'm going to say you're in first person viewing. So oh, you're the, right. you're the killer, you're, you're, you're the killer. Ah, do they film it not as the person looking at the person as in the person from behind the camera? Yes, so you're walking behind... First, first person perspective, yeah. Yeah, so you're walking behind the killer. You get to see him and stuff, and it, yeah. and it branches out into proper film scene and that sort of stuff. However, 90% of the film, you're in you're in viewing of... What he sees. Yeah, what he or sees she. and what he's... Or what he's he, it's a he, he. Okay. and what he's doing. Um, it's really interesting. I've never watched it. It was, like, it was kind of like playing... GTA. <laughs> it reminded me a bit of that, but at the same time, it was quite interesting. Weird, weird little, weird, weird storyline. Yeah. But I've never seen this Shudder before. I've seen some of the films on it, and like it's, they've got like they they've got like their own brand of films now, which they do, and they do quite unique horror movies. So how do you watch Shudder Channel then? What is it through through Amazon? As on Prime. It's on Prime Video, yeah. Okay. But I watched this film on Prime. Yeah. And it was a bit of weird, like, my brother's one of the weirdest horrors. Like, they, 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 like, my brother was saying names of horror movies to my, to my other brother. And my brother's going, yeah, yeah, I watched that. And I was like, like, there was a film called Skidamarink. <laughs> Skidamarink. Skidamarink. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, what did you just say? He said Skidamarink. I was like, right. Okay. What what yeah. would possess you to ever watch something called that? That would no. But this is it, right? So <laughs> I, I'm just like, listen, I'll take like you know, proper film houses that are making movies. <laughs> like, have you ever seen any of the films called the VHS movies? The no. horror movies. There's like, there's quite a few of them. There's like, so there's a film called VHS. Basically, they're small clips of homemade video camera footage mm. but it's a horror story with what's been filmed okay so that it's real footage but basically of what's happened or it's not real it's like mimic to be real yeah they're quite interesting like not interested quite like do you remember do you remember year do you remember when we were kids there used to be um do you remember tales of the crypt mm -hmm. with that creepy like, look melting man yeah. yeah, and there used to be like a story behind that. Yeah, they used to be like yeah. regular little mini stories, didn't they? Yeah, Tales like of the weird, Crypt. Yeah, weird stories. Yeah, they so actually was, made a, a full-length film of one of them called Demon Knight. Now you can't buy it in the UK; you can only buy it in America. It's a fucking awesome film. You have to. This bloke had to go around trying to fight off these like demons, and he had to use this ancient blood from Christ to stop them. Fucking brilliant. Yeah, if you Horror movies back in the day. Do you remember like, do you remember when the original Exorcist came out? And it was like... No, banned? I wasn't alive. 
You must have been live in the XS game, how surely? When seven is? He's trying to say now. I know my beard's long, but fucking hell. No. What's like the. F no, the Exorcist. That was banned at cinemas. Yeah, because which one was banned? That the was. Exorcist. People kept yeah, yeah. fainting and puking and they were violently sick because of what was in it and no one had ever seen anything like that in a film before. Yeah. No, I wasn't around. Let's just double check. Unless it was 79, which I don't think it was. The Exorcist cinema release. Release date. 1984. 74. 74. <clears throat> yeah, 14th of March, 74. And yeah, I was still going in tissues at that point. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's so bad. Yeah, I, get, I, I mean, just about. <laughs> Not for Luckily, me. Luckily, I do. Yeah. What was the What was the first horror movie you seen? Halloween, with Michael Which Myers. Which one? The, the original. First, the original one. Oh wow! When he walked down the street and you see the camera from wearing the mask, yeah, and he stabs his sister with, and his naked sister, yeah. That yes. was a bit weird, and I was that used to the music from John Carpenter used to fucking scare me. Mm. That was John awesome. Carpenter. I was talking about John Carpenter films yesterday. Do you remember? Do you, remember, you seen a film called Poltergeist? Mm -hmm. And Poltergeist, Poltergeist Two. My brothers hadn't seen Poltergeist Two. I was showing them a clip. What the original Poltergeist? There was three of them with the little girl yeah. Carrie Ann. Yeah, and the number two had like the old man that came with the door. The was yeah, with the top hat. Yeah. It's the scariest man I've ever seen. So do you know, in that scene, he was actually, he was dying. I believe of, I don't quite remember, I believe it was leukemia. So he was dying shooting that scene. He died a week later after filming. That that All the original Poltergeist films were cursed. Even the little girl died as well. Um, so many people died. You know you get films where the, the set is cursed and... So many people die from it. That's one of the original ones that happened. Loads of people died from that that were associated with the film or worked on the film. He was creepy though, man. I remember seeing oh, yeah. the clip last night. And he, but I remember when I first, ever, I don't know where I've seen it, but I was on my own. I was a lot younger. I think it was like, maybe when I was like 13. Do you know when you're flicking through Sky TV at like early hours of the morning? Yeah, looking for porn. Yeah, and you find a scary for, man. It was more like, do you remember Movies for Men? That sort of channel. <laughs> Softcore. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I think I, I came across it, and I just remember coming across that scene where he's on the driveway, he's talking to them. Knocking on the door, and yeah. It's and raining. Like, you're all, you're all going to die. It's like, and he starts oh. singing a song, doesn't he, about the holy children and stuff. Yes. You see, see the, how I used to watch films, I used to, when I was like less than 10 probably, I would obviously go to bed and then my mum and dad would be watching films downstairs and then I would pretend that I'm poorly and I'd come downstairs and you know you'd have like two two like three piece sweet chairs next to each other yeah and you got obviously the two arms next to each other you could sit on it because it was about this wide I used yeah. to come and sit between my mum and dad and just watch films for like 20 minutes and then I'd get tired to go to bed again I feel better now and that's how I started watching bits and bobs of films and I'm like oh that's good so when I was a bit older I'd watch them yeah yeah they was my first horror that terrified me was uh, Nightmare on Elm Street hmm that was and I remember that I had cousins that they were older and they'd obviously seen the movie you know a few times so they they was expecting everything Whereas when they introduced me to it, it was like terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> even now, even now, I can I can say films are scary to me. I like not massive. They're not scary, but they're jump scary. I think that when they make you, I remember when it came out at the cinema, the the newer it, not the original, and fucking jump scares in that film were it's crazy. I, I went to cinema. down here. <laughs> You'll float too. Some oh, bloke no. fell out of his fucking chair next to us at the cinema because it fucking that jump. Is that what? And no. and the con conjuring too. When it when she's in the in the in the living room and she skived off school for a day 
and it's raining oh, yeah. and she's watching but telly and it, it comes to be on the telly and goes my house sorry people you're now deaf yeah that fucking shit me up i tell you we watched that together <laughs> i think that film because i remember i had i had my laptop didn't i oh uh, yeah we, we tried to get it yeah on F movies we did we, i mean we tried we we got a lot of movies through that mm -hmm. um through put lockers and stuff yeah plugging um, them into the telly with a usb fucking lead and mate we made it work a million times sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't but horror i mean we went through what about a year's worth of horrors like most saturdays <laughs> we worked very hard yeah we did between takeaways and horror movies <laughs> um, fuck me. so for me yeah like we were discussing horror movies last night and i was just like there's always once conjuring was one of them that really first, oh that's my my favorite horror film conjuring it really really kind of that to me when because i was like horror movies were shit for a very long time yeah they were really mediocre and then the conjuring came out and it was like a whole new sort of genre into scary yeah and the fact that they you know it was like the footage was really good and what they were doing behind it and obviously the ed and lorraine warren stories are just kind of like notorious now yeah there's going to be a fourth one apparently the uh, last rights yeah. yeah the last rights yeah 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 that's, that should be out at some point i don't know when but hopefully but they've done well with that that franchise because obviously you've had the three annabelle films from the same people you've had two nun films now and obviously you've had you will have four conjuring films so i imagine there'll be three nuns what was the third conjuring film uh the devil made me do it when arnie johnson yes. killed the owner of the the dog like kennel place and he yes. said that he was he was possessed and the devil made him do it and they had to go yeah. to court that was a real thing as well I oh, yeah, all those stories. I oh, know all those right, stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I think the, the Pope's Exorcist. I think it's a brilliant film. We watched that. No, we didn't. I told you about that. Didn't I? Yeah, you told me, and I went to Morrison's and found it because it's the only place that sells DVDs now. Yes. Yeah. That's where we bought it. Yeah, fucking awesome film. Um, yeah, I bought it for Morrison's. I think it was a five. Is it a five? I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I love, I don't know, I do love a good film. Horror films are, when you get a good horror film, they are fucking awesome. I, the only thing is, I think with horror film is, is bar a few, some, a lot of horror movies are a one-time watch. Mm. They're not kind of, you don't there really has, go. There has to be an enjoyment or entertainment factor in the film as well. Otherwise, like you say, you're only going to watch it once. Mm -hmm. Whereas there's many film, there's many films that I've got that aren't horrors that I've gone probably watched ten, twenty, thirty times. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see, <sighs> see, that's the thing is going back to the the uh, the Morrison's thing because I mean I, I used to buy my DVDs from Tesco when they come out and I wanted them I buy them, but Tesco's have not sold DVDs for probably nearly two years now, so I. The ha last Halloween, I went to see the the new Exorcist, Believer, mm -hmm. with them two girls. A fucking brilliant film, and the number two. Still not seen it. Still oh, not seen awesome. it. Awesome. Um, and I think back. I think it was in April. I went looking. I just went in into Morrison's, and I thought, oh my god, like these these are out on DVD. So I bought them. I bought them both. And then I went to look online to find out exactly when they'd come out. And one of them was out in November and one was out in fucking January. And I'm like, wow, I didn't wow. even know. You don't know anymore. I mean, no one really buys DVDs, but I still do if if they're really good. Like there's certain franchises that if, when they bring new films out, I still buy them. Mm -hmm. And because obviously Netflix, sometimes they, they have the films and then they go again sometimes yeah. prime they're free sometimes you have to pay for the, the videos on prime depends on what month it is and so at some point you probably will see them again but if mm -hmm. i just want to i want to watch that film tonight right, let's put no, that yeah, on yeah point. you can't do that anymore 
you can't unless, do it unless you're willing to pay for a fiver or something for it. I'm not. Because... I'm not. I refuse to buy them on Prime. I'm not buying a fucking film on Prime. So I, I buy it in the shop because I know I've always got it, and I, you know, but not in, not in on Prime. So when if you go and watch this film on Shudder, which is the Violent Nature, you just sign. What I did is I didn't. I didn't have Shudder because I don't have it. I signed up for a seven day free trial and literally straight after the movie I cancelled the subscription. <laughs> uh, so like because I was like I'm just we was discussing that as well. So obviously none of us have got Sky T V anymore. No. Um He does. But but then we started pricing up. We priced up what we have on like subscriptions. Mm. So I priced up my subscriptions and I've got Discovery Paramount Plus, Netflix Family Edition, so that's like 12 quid. I've got Now TV, I've got Apple TV, Prime Video. So those two, the first two are like five are each. The rest of them are around. You've got Disney. Disney Plus. Disney's very good. Very good. So I spend roughly about 65 quid a month. <laughs> Maybe sixty quid a month on subscriptions. Yeah, and but, I'm just like, but you know, that's part of the the thing. Now you don't have a TV like uh, Virgin or Sky. A lot of people don't have anymore. Nope. I mean, I I have Netflix, I have Prime, and I milk Prime delivery. Fucking, I milk that so much. That's fucking brilliant. So do I. So do I. Yeah. Yeah. So much from Prime delivery. It's unreal. No. Yeah. yeah, I've got Discovery Plus, which is fucking brilliant for three ninety nine. It's amazing. Oh, uh, there's so much on there. There's something on there for everybody. Yeah, in terms of Discovery. And I've also got Now TV, but only the Sky Sports package. So I don't watch anything else. So I don't think I can. Mm. So I just watch Sky Sports for the Premier League football and that. And that's it. So I have four. I don't have Disney anymore because it was never mine when I lived in the other house, and. It was my son's that I used on my TV here, but that's run out as well. So I don't have Disney. But Disney, fucking brilliant. Disney Plus, very good. We got a year's free of Disney Plus. So when we booked Disney last year, when my wife went, we got a year's free subscription. So Oh, that's good. Yeah. Just for booking, so that's good. But little things like that make it a good incentive. Do you know what I mean? It's not a mm. lot that they're giving away, but... There's some crackers on there though. So, especially Christmas, there is a massive, massive like Christmas bundle on there. However, yeah, there is there, yeah. there is there's a free movie app, and I think it's called like. Do you have apps on your telly? Yes. Uh, is it called Free V? Free Free some? It's called Free something, um, and it's like purple and green. Okay. And basically, the movies on there, there are some classics. Tubi. I've got Tubi, whatever that is, watch free. Samsung Plus, Netflix, Prime, YouTube, Discovery, Now, ITV, Pluto, iPlayer, Disney, Apple, Google, Play, 4, Gallery, Internet, Rakuten Os- TV, Channel 5, Os- Chili. Chili. <laughs> That's just the ones that are already on there. No, there's free, I think it's called Free Free V. It's not Free View. I know that, but it's called Free V or something. Is it an app? Yeah, it's an app. Yeah. App. Let's have a look at apps. Oh, I've gone dark. Ooh. There we go. Okay, Samsung. Fuck me. Loads. Spotify. The Zone. Hope. Crunchable. Rally. UK. Fuck. It. Loads. What are we looking for? Free something. Let me find it. Pluto TV. I've got that as well. I like Pluto. Lionsgate. Obviously, they do the the films from Hollywood. Asian drama. Z5. Hope Kids. What the fuck is that? Hope Media. Crunchyroll. <laughs> Pluto TV. Infuse. Uh, Red Bull TV. TikTok. I've got TikTok on. Britbox. Apple Music. Plex. Kadoodle, Twitch, FIFA. Plex is, Plex is good. I've got Plex. What is Plex? Yeah. Uh, oh, I'll channels. ITV, um, TV, 
um, films by the looks of it. I'll find it. It's on my TV. I don't know if every TV has That's it. it. On my TV. Free- oh, mm-hmm. it's called, yeah. So it's part of Amazon. It's part of Amazon. It's called Free It's called Free V. Free V. Okay. F R W E V W E. Okay, back to back to YouTube, please. Oh, I've got a fucking minute of advert before my screen comes back. We've got a party do time. You, t- 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 do you pay for no adverts on um on Netflix? Uh, Netflix, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't have adverts. I pay ten ninety nine. Whatever package that is. Yeah, so, so I've think, got adverts on mine. So you pay the seven ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, I pay ten ninety nine. I used to, they keep they kept trying to charge me the fifteen ninety nine full ultra HD fucking four K package. The four K package, yeah. I kept cancelling. I thought I don't want it. HD is fine. HD is enough, yeah, for sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, five five pound more a month. No, thanks. Or well, you can have more people on it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> where do you think TV will? Where do you think TV will take us to in like ten years time? Because Obviously, film companies now are just doing reruns of what's already been done. They're trying to do things better. They're trying to do remakes and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, but they work. They've got an audience already. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, they do work because, like you said, there is people that want to see them. Yeah. And movie production now, like, like the film that we watched last night, the camera. Honestly, the film that we watched last night could have been shot on the new iPhone with a gimbal. Easy. And the budget for this film was not massive because not a lot happened. There's not a lot of destruction. Kebab and chips budget. <laughs> it was. It was. Yeah. But <laughs> I was like, it was a good film. It was. It was quite a random ass film, and it was like you know one that I wouldn't normally pick. No. You know, out of a list, I wouldn't go. Oh, that's the film that I want to watch. That's my problem now with TV. Is there's so much choice. Yeah. Like we had, you know, as growing up, we had five channels, four channels, five if you were lucky. Yeah. Until we got, until we got Freeview, and then we got. I remember getting Sky. Fuck me, when we got Sky, that was it. But then there was Sky, and then there was having the, have, you know, having Sky cut off Sky. You know, we had, we had Sky package for about two years, and my mum was like, "I'm not doing it anymore. It's so much money." Yeah. And then obviously they just like cancelling all the channels. So, Sky don't pay the bill. Sky, it's probably you know was as bad as it got <laughs> because you had all these channels, but you couldn't watch them. <laughs> to be fair, when I lived in my other house, we had Sky and Sky Sports and that, and with broadband, it was like one hundred and twenty pound a month. I was paying. It's like wow. Uh, it's obviously, ridiculous. obviously, twenty quid of that was Sky Sports for me, but the only things I used to watch. Like channel wise, it was obviously Sky Sports, Comedy Central. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I, I there was never there was only a list of channels that I watched. And then Netflix and all them, I'd watch them. Do you remember Love Film? There were these sending DVDs yes, in the post. David, yes, yeah. After that's Blockbuster. How Netflix, that's how Netflix started. Yeah. Netflix started by used to ship people DVDs. Yeah, I did. I did. I think I I took one of them out before. But do you know the funny thing is, Blockbuster was given the opportunity to buy Netflix before they went bust, like a couple of years before, and then they said, "Nah, pff, that's a stupid idea." And then obviously Blockbuster went bust because it was people oh, weren't people weren't renting them anymore. I used to love Blockbuster though. I that was my it. that was my it. fucking Friday or Saturday night. Go and get a film from there. And then you go and get a takeaway, get a couple of drinks, and then go go home, chill out, watch a film, have a takeaway. So oh, I used to fucking love you, that every Saturday night. If you went to, well, you went Blockbusters on Welly Road. I, assume, I did, yeah? yeah. I also went so, Choi- Choices Video. Choices, yes. On Ketman Road, Saint, near, opposite the church. No, yes. Ketman Road, near no. the church. Before the White Elephant. Before the White Elephant. Oh, is that where yeah. Choices used to be? Yeah, next to the Tesco. I remember, there now. I remember the choices at St. James. I remember that uh, one. Oh, I didn't go up there. I didn't live that way. 
But yeah, the choices, if I didn't have it in Blockbuster, I used to go there. But I also used to like going there. And you know when they used to sell X rental videos? Well, you probably, maybe you're a bit young. Yes, I do remember. Of course I do remember they used, to, they used to sell the videos, the X rental ones that have been watched about a thousand times. And you used to buy them and you're like, wow, because it's not out in the shop yet. And you'd buy them for like six quid or seven quid or whatever. Yes. Fucking brilliant. Yeah, I used to do they that were, as well. They were good. I, so... Think so. If you went to Blockbusters Welly Road, where did you go for food? Did you go Midwest? Oh no, I'd have got a local food from where I live, like oh, the chippy or something. Yeah, yeah. And it then just the, go there. The nostalgia of the yellow carpet, and the the plastic yellow thing, and yeah. going in and they'd be like, because they they didn't just have one copy of the new film. They had like five boxes of that film, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have to go, you just take the case of it and they'd put the video in it. Yeah, and then they'd have like little rows of like sweets and popcorn and drinks. Yes. That was fucking amazing. They saw Blockbuster's Cola, man. Blockbuster's Cola was the fucking bomb growing up. I used to like Virgin Cinemas, their cola. Yes. Virgin Cola. That Virgin was fucking... Cinema. And Six Fields. Yes. Oh, that was, yeah, oh. Well, it was Virgin. I had a pass that you pay nine ninety nine a month. And I used to go cinema every day, like during the holidays and that. Fucking drop That's me cool. off, drop me off. I go all the time, just pass my me test. Me and my brothers did that. <clears throat> we we used to that all the time before Virgin. It was UGC. Yes, yeah, UGC, yeah. UGC and Virgin. Then it was Virgin, and then it was Cineworld. Cineworld, I think. Yeah, but do you remember before it was Virgin? Inside the cinema, they had a movie prop shop, Six Fields. Not sure. I remember they, they, used, sold, to, they used to give you posters. And stuff. Yes, yes, they did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember the posters. They always used to be on they, a table, didn't they? On the yeah, way out. Or, or in a little box, and they used to roll them up and stick them out and just take them. Yeah, I used to go and ask for the cinema posters all the time. Again, that's something that doesn't really happen anymore. It was such a rarity, though, because now some of those posters are worth a shitload. I've got the original Odeon It one. That's from, crazy. From back in, like, 2016, 17, whenever it was. I've got that. And they, yeah. and also, I've also got the, when It 2 came out, they made two posters that were separate. But if you turned them over, you stuck them together. They joined, yeah. And, yeah. They, and they created uh, Pennywise. Yeah, I don't know where that is, though. I hope I've still got that and not... Somehow find lost that away. in translation. Yeah, um, they were good though. Like, and but blockbusters was one of those things that because I remember that my mum would take us all. So, and they used to do something like five videos for a fiver, or something like that. Mm. Or you know, if you wanted a new movie, I think it's like what was it for a new film? Is it like three fifty for a new movie? I think it was to rent it for like oh, like in the charts, the chart movies. Yeah, yeah, the new movies were like three fifty per film. But I remember. We would basically we'd all get a video each, and then we'd get a brand new rental. So it was like a more expensive one, and then we'd get like a bunch of stuff. But that was like a, like you said, a Friday thing. It was like a this will keep them, this will yeah. keep them busy over the weekend. And we I remember between us, we just used to swap what we got and just like I'll watch your one, you watch this one. But don't you think it's a bit weird though? Obviously, it come out of the cinema, the film. You'd wait like six months. It come out on to rent. It come out to rent in the shop and, and then you have to rent it and then you'd wait another four months until it was available to buy in the shop i just think that's that's such a strange way of doing it now it's obviously they milk it to get their money's worth now production money they, they probably got more then than they did now for month for films well yeah but look at all the people that all the actors that complain because they're at the cinema and then within a week they're out on disney plus like the marvel films Star Wars films, they go straight there. They don't have any oh, yeah, yeah. time to, to get on the 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 records for the the box office. I know. I was we were saying <clears> this. So, because me and my brothers went to see the new Twister last week. Oh, that looks good. Twisters, yeah, really good, <clears> really <throat> good film. And it's no, it's not nothing to comparison to the first one. The first one's like, brilliant. I like the first one. Yeah. However, I remember we left it a few weeks. And I said, like, oh, my sister's brother should go see Twisted. He said, oh, we'll have to check if it's still on. And we went. And yeah. We, it was on. A, it was in a small... We went to Rushton Lakes, rip-off. That's closing anyway. And Six yeah. Fields, they're both closing. 
That's mental, isn't it? Because they charge sixteen pound a ticket when view is five ninety nine. That's why. There you go. That's that. Carry That's on. it. That is it. If you still want the cinema experience, you cannot ch- be charging that kind of money to go and see a film. Mm. I don't care how nice you know what I mean, how nice you think your cinemas are, how comfy your chairs are. Like a cinema is a cinema. Okay. Back in the day, going to the cinema, they were old, they were dirty, the chairs haven't been touched in about twenty years. You know. You just went for the experience, the smell. I remember cinemas had a smell as well, like mm. you know, like a sweet smell, but at the same yes, time, yes, popcorny smell and yeah. sticky floor. <laughs> sticky floor, mate. Six Fields was always ruined. Six Fields is a ruined cinema. Yeah, but I went to. We went to Russian Lakes, didn't we, to watch? Yeah. Um, what's it Insidious. called? Insidious Five. Yeah, the Red Door. You walk in there, and it's like the old style of. Uh, London cinemas like Cineworld, so many lights and it looks fuck. It's like wow, look at that. But then again, it's not. They're not getting the people in because of the prices. They're fucking. Stupid. At the end of the day, people are coming to watch films, and if you're charging, say you know, you've got two adults and you've got two teenagers, and you're saying, hold on a second, you want me to pay sixty quid plus food to go and see a film? Never happening, mate. Never happening. I don't know what will happen to Russian Lakes. I don't know if somebody, if View will take it over, because it seems such a waste of a building just to shut. It's massive, an all, isn't it? An already equipped cinema. Yeah. Like I know, I know. I get it. They have to change all the branding and stuff. However, again, Russian Lakes is another telltale sign that a lot of shops there have now started to close for good. Have they? There's about I'll... three or four units along the main strip at the. So down the left hand side I love they've shut Lakes. I don't normally like shopping centres like that but I fucking love it I think it's brilliant it's just it's an out it's an open air shopping experience isn't it so it's kind of like yeah you know when you go into a shopping centre like obviously you know the dreaded Grover Centre it was kind of, it's like forced on you isn't it it's like shop 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 whereas yeah. Russian Lakes is kind of like well I can park at this end or I can park at this end or if I'm going for food you can go round the back and miss all the shops. It's a shopping experience. Yes, we should do adverts, shouldn't we? <laughs> Welcome to Rushton Lakes, the place where 15 quid will get you into the cinema. <laughs> yeah, but nothing else. <laughs> but nothing else, yeah. Well, nothing else. I'll tell you what, every time I've gone to that cinema, though, I've always, like, proper, full-on, done some banging shits in those toilets. I've only been once, and that was a view when we had that twelve foot fucking hot dog each. We didn't share it. <laughs> no, we didn't share it. We had one each. That was fucking well big. It was again though, like food. I never understand the food combos. Whereas the one with you, they do a kids combo, which is any drink, popcorn, and then a chocolate bar. It's only a fiver, and I'm like, listen, I'm fucking justify. That's I can good. justify that. But whereas I went. So we went the other night. My brother bought the tickets. So he, so then we bought his food. We went to a restaurant before. And then I said, listen, I'll get your snacks. Yeah. yeah. And I got I got three drinks and then like three bags of snacks, one each. And that was 22 quid. Fucking, I should have gone Tesco first and just bought a load of shit. I know. Shit. Three, like no, three, so what we, last time we went to Six Fields, we went to, um, we went, what's the chicken place in Six Fields now? What's that? Uh, Fuck Popeyes. Nice. Is that Popeyes? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we went Popeyes. Then we went to the M and S garage, and I was like, I said to him, I was like, listen, lads, pick what you want in here because I tell you now, it's going to be way cheaper than it is over there. <laughs> and it was shit loads cheaper. Yeah. But yeah, I love a cinema experience. I love a film experience. Hmm. Yeah, there's something I look forward to. I went to cinema the other week. Can't even remember what I watched. To be fair, I went to view on a Monday night, and I can't even remember what I watched. It's a good film though. <laughs> can't have been that good. <laughs> Any idea? Nothing. No, I just I just can't remember. How is Love that possible? It. My brain, a senior moment again. Having a senior moment. It's that like, wow. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure I fucking went to cinema. 
Oh, Fly Me to the Moon. That was it. Oh, uh, any good? Very good, yeah. Do you remember, yeah. though? <laughs> I remember now, yeah. It's a good film, yeah. Really good. Oh, sweet. Well, people, thank you for joining us on that random-ass episode of Dad's Lads and Babs, where we can discuss anything we want, all the good stuff, none of the shit politics, none of the shit news of the world, sponsored by the Happy Newspaper. If you want something happy to read, go read the Happy Newspaper. Or just come and listen to our show, where we discuss movies for 40 minutes. I fucking love episodes like this. <laughs> it, 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 it's it's fucking... Again, it's... It's our show, right? It's, it's our show. Passion. We can you can yeah. people can tell we care about it because of how we talk, rather than exactly. oh, we need to talk about this subject today, but we don't really know much about it, so we're not enthusiastic with our portrayal. Yeah, fuck it, man. We do what we want when we want in terms of really our show. So, guys, thanks for joining us on another episode. And we'll be back next week, and we'll see how Mickey got on with his ten-hour drive. Oh. Deuces. Fuck off. <laughs>